All right, this starts part two of our optical illusion. I've already taken a head start here. What I'd like to point out is notice I always start from the middle. And from the middle, I started with green, then left it white. Green, white, green, white, green, white, green, white. I always go clear to the end. Then I go on to the next one. Now you're going to be alternating two ways this time. From the green of the center, you're gonna leave it white in the center. Then you're going to put in a color, we'll leave it white. Color, in this case, it's pink. Leave it white, pink, white, pink. Then I go on to the next one. So start in the center again. Since this is white, this is now going to be green. White, green, white, and on out. Now I've currently started the next one, which is pink. Started with white in the middle because it was green next to it. So this is white, pink, white, and I start filling in with pink. As you fill in, use the wide side of your marker. Always use that wide side when we're filling in. So white, pink, white, pink, white, and now pink again. Some of my friends will try and skip ahead and leave little dots where they belong, but I find that that doesn't work all the time for everyone. But simply going from white to the coloring, the section works very well. White, then we come on down to this one. And I just fill it in. I kind of fill it in any which way, as long as in the end, I get all those white spots. You know I can't stand the white spots. So often you'll see me doing the edges first and then coming in and filling the middle. There. So I have that part now. I am gonna always rotate it a little bit. It makes it easier. If you're left-handed, of course, you'd go this way. If you're right-handed, you're gonna go this way. Now make sure you put down the pink marker. Oh no, alternating colors. You can pick just about any two colors to get this to work. However, I find that if they're different, it often leads to a better finished product. So I'm gonna go ahead and re rotate this a little more. Since I was white here, I'm gonna go green here. And if you've noticed, when you're only using the two colors, they end up using the same pattern. So that fills in, leave it alone. Ooh, that's kind of awkward. I'm gonna move that again. Try and start with nice, good markers. This one's already starting to die on me, so it's going to leave some streaks. Now what's really cool about this project is it should be relaxing. Nice and relaxing, you're paying attention. Everyone, once in a while, you make a mistake. Shouldn't be a big deal. And fill in, oh no, it's starting to leave those lines. Try and get rid of them. And then I leave it white, come on over here. Now, although this one does not discuss the elements of art, we've already incorporated several elements into this. We started first with our geometric lines, which are all the straight lines. See how they're kind of all crazy? Geometric lines there were all the straight lines. We also used vertical, horizontal, and then diagonal into each. That was kind of neat. We are using curved lines. And now that we're closing off all of these lines, we now have shapes. Now I have to tell you, in this example, I don't see any geometric shapes. I see all organic shapes, but it's still pretty cool. And we're starting to use color. You can think about your color choices ahead of time. 
Could you have done this with using just primary colors? Of course. Could you have used complementary colors, which are opposites on the color wheel? Oh yeah, that would work too. You could have also used four different colors and that would have worked too. Try and keep them even though. I find that those work the best. So now it looks like, uh-oh, I forgot a little spot here. If I didn't catch that right away, that's okay. I think it would have worked out anyway, and I could have caught it in the end, but there you go. Now let's go on to the pink. Please collect all of your elements of art hands, because I think that'll make Oh no, I messed up. Ah, I'm talking too much instead of thinking. <sighs> so it's a good thing I have my handy dandy white out. I don't know how white this is going to make it. Do let's cross our fingers and hope. Oh, seems like the end of the world, but it's not. This is not the best white out either. And we'll try our best. Now, let's figure out where I went wrong. Well, first of all, I was talking to you. Probably should not have been talking to you as much. And then I come on down. Let that dry. And there you go. There we are. Now we've got it. And then I'm going to have to pretend that's white and move right along. I might need to give it several coats of that white out. Rut row. Well, it happens. Good thing these are easy to do. See, I'm concentrating a little more now. Yep. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and I'm going to go back in just a minute. I think that's dry a little bit. Get rid of all those white spots. Let's see. If my mess up can be fixed, it can be. <laughs> if all else fails, I can cut a hole there and put white paper behind it, huh? Things are always fixable. Uh oh, I'm starting to get those funny little streaks with this. Go back over it. I kind of really like this pink highlighter. There we go. Now, let's really shake it up. <laughs> Try this again. Ooh, I think it's working better. See, any mistake can be fixed. And if it doesn't work to my satisfaction, then I will certainly cut it out with a pair of scissors and back it up with a white piece of paper. And no one will know that I made the mistake. Unless you tell someone. But guess what? Don't tell anyone. Oh, huh, that's better already. All right, are you starting to see it now? Okay, now let's stop and think. So we went green, white. Oh, this better be green. Can't afford another mistake like that. I don't have a really holy picture. And fill it in. Skip. Fill it in. Oh no, my marker's fading too. Well, guys, these markers are probably as old as you are. 
Yep. It's been a long time since I've done artwork at home. Well, if it wasn't painting my walls. And here, I think it's time to buy a new set of markers. Come on, green. Come on, you can do it. Not much time left. You only have a couple more spaces. No, no, don't let me down. Whew, I'm glad that's a big section of white. One of the most important things here is to stay in the line. You can see I made a little flub there. And somehow that is beaming at me. No, you didn't keep me in the line. No, you didn't keep me in the line. Uh-oh. I think this marker's about had it. I think this is the last so time you're going to see limey green. Whew. Good thing we're on to the pink. Well, my mistake still has not dried yet. All right, let's make sure I get it right. So, white, green, white, white, pink. There we go. Kind of late in the project to mess up now. And skip. And go over. I don't know about you, but I'm having a hard time seeing it now without going a little cross-eyed. Now, some of the art teachers would say, leave it just like this, and you can certainly do that. If you like, however, you can go ahead and fill in another set of colors in between. Or if you really like this and you find it enjoyable, do a couple. Your art is yours. I just gave you a new technique to use. Now you have to apply it. All the way off there. I always start with alternating with white. That way if you run out of time, if you leave it white, it still looks finished. You started another color right away and then you ran out of time and you're only halfway done, then you're literally only halfway done. But this one we could call finished. Try and ignore that. Maybe in a later video, I'll come back in and show you how I cut out that little hole and made it perfect. But until then, we're gonna add more white out. Yeah, white out doesn't seem to be whiting it out very much, friends. And the white is not the same as paper white. Shucks. All right. Well, I still think that's better than it was. I think you will agree, too. So that is our finished project when it comes to an optical illusion. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you found it relaxing. See you later, boys and girls.